In this video, we will take a look at how to add CSS classes to HTML elements dynamically in Angular in three different ways. Dynamic means, the classes may be applied on a click event, or based on a value of variable and component template. Suppose this is a web page, here you can see a button to download a file, and this download status. As the button is clicked, it starts downloading a file and status turns blue. When the file is downloaded, it turns green. All this is being done, using CSS classes applied dynamically in Angular, and this is what we are going to learn in this video. Note that, here we are not downloading any file, since this video is not related to that. Let's inspect the status element. Right-click, Inspect. Refresh the page to bring it to initial state. Look, it has a class download, which gives it the gray color. Now, press download. You can see that as the button is pressed, downloading class is applied to it. As the file download is complete, downloading class is removed, and downloaded is applied. Let's learn how to do this in Angular. First, look at the component class. This is the variable that contains file download status. This is the button click event handler. When the button is clicked, it sets the download status to downloading. Set timeout is written to add a delay to simulate a file being downloaded from the server. After the file download is complete, the status is set to 2, which means downloaded. Based on the value of this variable, we will be adding CSS classes in HTML template. This is the HTML template. This is the download button, and this is the div which shows download status. We will be applying dynamic classes to this div. In Angular, a CSS class can be applied using ng class directive. Its syntax is ng class, followed by the class name. You can directly assign a class, like this. But, this is not dynamic. To make it dynamic, we can place a condition with ng class, and there are different ways to do that. Let's look at these in action. Back to the template. Write the ng class directive, ng class, equal to, double quotes, curly braces. Write the class name between single inverted commas, followed by a colon and a condition. Since we need to apply downloading CSS class, when download status is 1, that is, when button is pressed. So, downloading colon download status equals equals 1. Save. Back to the browser. Click download, the color changes to blue. But it does not change to green, since we did not apply downloaded class. With ng class directive, you can apply multiple classes based on different conditions, separated by a comma in the same statement. So, comma, followed by class name between single inverted commas, followed by colon and condition. Save. Back to the browser. It works. Another way of applying different classes, with ng class, is using a ternary operator. Ternary operator is written as a condition, followed by a question mark, class name, followed by a colon, and another class name. If the condition evaluates to true, class 1 is applied. If the condition evaluates to false, class 2 is applied. So, let us use ternary operator in this example. Comment this out. Remove this. If download status is 1, apply downloading class. Else apply downloaded. Now, this will not work as expected. And we will see that in a second. Back to the browser. Look, the status appears green, by default, even if you refresh the page, and this is because downloaded class will be applied, for all values of download status variable, except 1. Download status is set to 0 by default, and so, downloaded class, will be applied always. To correct this, we need to extend the ternary operator by writing a second ternary operator as if the first condition evaluates to false, second condition will be evaluated. This is called nested ternary operator. So, let us change the condition now. After the colon, write another condition where we will compare download status with 2. If it is true, downloaded class will be applied. Since we do not want to add any other class, leave this blank. Back to the browser. It works. Finally, third method to apply dynamic classes using class directive. Its syntax is 
square brackets, class keyword, dot class name, followed by a condition. If this condition is true, the class will be applied, else not. Back to the template. Copy this. Remove the ng class directive. Square brackets. Class.downloading. This class should be applied when download status is 1. So, the condition will be, download status equal equal 1. We also need to apply downloaded class. Copy this. And apply downloaded class, when download status is equal to 2. Now, this class, will be applied when download status is 1, and this class will be applied when download status is 2. Save. Back to the browser. It works. If you like the video, do not forget to hit the subscribe button.